This doesn't hey, go. Like, Annette! Yeah. Annette! Oh, well, I guess it's just me this time. This is week two of Team 3005's, uh, I guess this is now gonna be sort of series, I guess, uh, this, so this is week two. So during this week, we've done multiple things. Actually, we've made a lot of progress during this week. Um, one of the things that we've been kind of prototyping and testing over is the laser type of flight sensor. Um, the main reason why we know that we need the sensor or we need something close to the sensor is because of the large size of the objects on the field. First of all, with the scale being in the middle of the field, right smack in the middle of the field, um, you're already at a disadvantage if you're in the middle of a drive station. Um, but what the sensor does is basically it sends, um, it uses the light of a laser, reflects off the object, comes back to you, and uses its own equation to tell you your distance from that object. Um, this isn't this isn't used for us to see ourselves. This, this is more just an object avoidance. You know, maybe putting in a line of code that stops us if we're about to hit something if we're too close to it. Um, but that's what we've been practicing on so far when it comes to electrical stunt. When it comes to electrical point this week, uh, a couple things that we have solidified that we are that we know we are doing. We are definitely doing an escalator. Um, that is going to be the mechanism that is making our that is making our robot be able to touch the scale. We're definitely going to be making an escalator. Um, we've been doing a couple of more prototypes on intakes. Um, mostly, we mostly we understand that it's going to be some sort of wheel intake. Um, we made these really cool wheels that are three D printed. We three D printed them ourselves, um, and basically we put an epoxy an epoxy filling on it. And so this is this is the shape of the wheel. This is how it looks. Um, so we have a hard inner core filling with, so it's able to shape and mold around the cube. Um, other than that. Uh, we do now have our drive base catted. Um, we plan to get that on the gantry mill around Monday and start getting all the parts cut out so we can start getting them assembled and get them ready. We were doing a lot of drive practice over this past week. Um, we have about three drive bases going at this time, so we have everybody in the gym drive training while we have our builders inside of the, inside of the room um, building all the parts. One of the other things that we have done this week is we have started um, we have started getting more affiliated with LabVIEW. We're starting to get into it um, very hard. We have our new programmers, including me, um, trying to learn more about LabVIEW before we get into the heated uh, the heated week four, week five, where we're rushing and trying to get everything going. And you know, it's not a lot of communication. It's just go go go, no talk. But overall, week two have been a, has been a very productive week. We have done a lot this week, and we're looking to get into week three. Um, it was nice seeing you guys again. Well, not really seeing. Um, I wish I had Annette back. Annette! No, she's not here. This has been Team 3005's Week 2 Update. My name is Adam Gaddis, and I hope you'll be seeing more of me. Adios.